as soon as we started coming down these streets, her whole mood changed. It was like she was home. It's hard to describe myself because I don't know who I am without a substance. I never thought that I would make it this far, ever. If you put our family next to like the average American family, they're like, dude, why did these people breed? <laughs> I've done some pretty cool things in my life that have gone unnoticed. I think you get conditioned to be a minimizer. Because my mom was an addict with her eating disorder. If you could just show some affection. It's not a little thing. You drink and smoke hot. Why would I want your no, opinion I, on how to get sober? I wake up and I help your daughter every day and you don't even realize it. If I just keep doing what I need to do. She wakes up feeling bad. She goes to bed feeling bad. She feels bad when she breathes. That there's no limit to the possibilities of what my life could become. I'm telling you that. She's living in hell. Never give up on your loved one. The greatest people, the strongest people, rise out of nothing. Hey there, welcome to Big Blend Radio with your hosts, Lisa and Nancy, editors of BigBlendMagazine.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Big Blend Radio's Quality of Life show. Uh, today, we're focusing on the award-winning documentary. It's called Our American Family. It's directed and produced by Hallie Edelman and Sean King O'Grady. And it is coming out, on, well, theatrically on September 2nd in New York at Cinema Village, also Los Angeles at Lem. I cannot even pronounce this. Hallie, help me with pronunciations. You know Lemley. this theater. Lemley. Hey, okay. <laughs> got it. You guys got it. All right. So there it is. You know, you, everybody knows we do radio podcasts, but um, I can't pronounce anything. Uh, but September 6th, uh, I, I'm excited about this. We love that, you know, it's in theaters, but uh, you can get it all over on U.S., Canada, U.K., uh, starting September 6th on Apple TV, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Vudu, uh, all those great places. So check it out. Go to OurAmericanFamilyFilm.com. This is a story that is a true story. It's a documentary mm -hmm. following a family's, you know, journey through addiction and getting through addiction and past it and over it and uh, especially with a young lady called Nicole who I'm just amazed that this family allowed you guys to yeah actually allow them <laughs> allow you into their space and for it to happen so welcome both of you Sean Hallie welcome to the show how are you Hallie where are you today I'm right outside of Philadelphia Oh, okay, oh, wow. good. Nice okay. area. Nice area. Sean, where mm. are you based out of? I'm uh, just outside of Detroit. Okay, good. Oh. Good, good. So tell us a little bit, Hallie, how did this start? I know everyone, you know, Hallie's done uh, so much too. Both of you have um, on so many, you know, platforms, but the social dilemma, I, you know what? We wished we interviewed you. We had this time at one point mm. and we were driving and traveling. We weren't able to interview you. And then going from that to, to, you know, our American family, I think is actually very connected because our bodies are just going from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. I feel like we, our bodies, like when I was a kid, it wasn't so bad, but nowadays I think it's harder. And I kind of connected the two in a weird way. Do you feel that? And did you, as you started this film, did you kind of connect the two? Social media, here we are, it's a crazy world, but addiction is big. I mean, just like with what's happening with addiction with social media. Yeah, I mean, I'm always, I was grateful to be a part, a small part of the social dilemma. You know, Jeff and Larissa did a beautiful job with that film to really ask questions about, is there a dark side of social media or is there something hmm. that we should look out for, for our next generation? And I think for me, when I'm involved with films or working on films, you know, I do like to ask that same question, you know, with our American family, it's how can we 
make things better for our next generation. So I was in perfect alignment with what was important for this family. They wanted to make things, as you see in the film, our American family, this family wanted to make things better for G, the young child in the film, for as who was an integral part of their family. That's and they cute. wanted mm -hmm. to make things better for the next generation beyond their family. Hmm. So I think that it's it it's all interesting when you go back to like cigarette smoking used to be this, you know, fancy thing to do and no, it's all fine to do. And now it's one of the hardest addictions we actually have in this country too is, you know, obviously opioids, um, but cigarette smoking is, you know, was glorified and then suddenly, boom, it's not. So that's how I feel about social media, but also drug addiction. I mean, opioids wasn't like a huge deal when I was growing up, but it's a big deal in this country. Jean, for you getting involved with this, what led you into saying, okay, I'm going to get involved with the project? It, Haley had known the family in the film for a long time. And so she invited me to, and, and my team to come out and, and meet her and meet them. And I, you know, I thought I was coming out to meet them on sort of like a research project to see if there was a film there or not. And within like two hours, within meeting, by the time I've met everybody, I absolutely knew there was a story there that needed to be told. And it really was that. I mean, it, it was the family. It was meeting them and understanding them and understanding why their story needed to be told that made me want to get involved. Mm. Hallie, mm -hmm. yeah, you got Hallie and Haley. By the way, she goes by both, just so you know. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. Hallie, for you, and when you were filming, putting this together, for them to be open to say, you can come into our space, do you think it added a little bit or at all? Because in a way, it's like, you know, people are going to, be following the story. So for Nicole going through this, especially, did you think that that added for her to have that extra oomph to move forward and, and to not, you know, go backwards in it? Because, you know, when you go through addiction process and, and recovery, a lot of times there's a, you know, you fall back and she did, I think it was 17 times, um, went to rehab. Um, so do you think in any way doing this kind of helped a little bit I think one of the things that helped was that she knew that people actually cared mm. people actually cared about this story Nicole says in the film our American family she refers to the fact that you know the she and the women in, in her treatment center women's space at the time saw an addiction story on TV that the governor was declaring a state of emergency and she said to e everybody else maybe it was just another story in the day but to the women and to Nicole, it was everything that people mm -hmm. were finally saying, this is a big deal. Can you sit up and pay attention? So I think for in, on one side, it let her know that people really did genuinely care. On another side, I think it allowed the family at times to reflect or think about what, what did they just do that day? What did they just say mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. was captured? I think maybe it allowed them to reflect a little bit but genuinely, this family was determined to help other people, mm -hmm. no matter what happened. So mm -hmm. that was the driving force behind the film. And that, I think, is ultimately their determination is what really, really helped. Mm. And that's what makes the film so valuable. I mean, I know from my dad was not an addict, but he was because all his drugs were prescribed by doctors year after year after year. And it was a case, of, he was on 19 narcotics and all prescribed, so he's not an addict, but there's no way you could take one away. Mm. You know, and his behavior changed within six months to what was a person to what became not a person. And nobody did anything. Mm. It was only after my dad passed away and I went to see the head doctor now as an adult instead of a kid and showed him what the hospital had done. And he was absolutely flabbergasted at the amount of narcotics that they had put one person on, even though week after week, he went to the doctors, he stayed in the hospital and nobody changed anything. So for me, your film was um, a real eye-opener 
And I think I would love to see you guys do something on prescribed drugs mm. because there's a big problem there too. Yeah, I mean, Chris had had struggled with an issue. There is a beautiful film just to also let you know um, that was going through the festival circuit called Anonymous Sister uh, about a woman whose uh, mother and sister were prescribed drugs and had it had um, struggled with addiction for many years. And it was the reflection of looking back kind of what had happened in their journey. So hopefully that mm -hmm. film will be um, broadly seen as well. It is yeah, I think cool. because it, what was so big to me was that it's generational. And then here we have mm -hmm. the grandbaby, really. So it's like the mom, yeah. Nicole's mom is almost, you know, becoming a mother again. So it's like a rebirth for every, it was like a big rebirth movie. I feel that, you know, there was, you gave such a sense of hope and promise of moving forward. Um, just even when the young son, one of them was like, dude, you've been through this 17 times. What's going to make this different mm -hmm. this time? And, you know, there's yeah. a child involved. Um, definitely the family unit does care. They rival, they, they, you know, go at each other a little bit. How, how are you not going to? But um, I, I just really feel like it's such an important thing for people to understand about generational addiction, how it actually just is goes down through the family. Is that something that attracted you to the film, Hallie? I mean, for me, there are pieces that carry forward and addiction might be a symptom. I'm not an expert on addiction, so I don't wanna claim that I'm an expert on addiction, mm -hmm. but every person we talked to, there was this deep emptiness. There was a feeling that whether it's a feeling of being less than, a feeling of, of not fitting in, a feeling of being disconnected, those feelings seem to be present in the people that we connected with. They definitely were present with Nicole. Nicole said she used to want to like escape her family and try to not connect, mm -hmm. you know? So how can we also as a society not just talk about addiction, but also talk about recovery in a way that gets to the heart of what somebody's really struggling with, in addition mm -hmm. to the physical symptoms and the physical um, aspect of addiction. Well, I thought mm -hmm. one of the key points was when Nicole said, I don't know who I am Yeah. Mm -hmm. without the drugs. I think that's a really huge, scary place to be. And at the same time, you can turn around and go, okay, well, I'm going to I know who I am. Let's go on a road trip. You know what I mean? So it, it's a positive thing too. Sean, what were some of the positives for you filming and being that close with the family that you walked away going, I'm really glad I did this? There's one kind of main moment of triumph for me, which is was a real turning point. At the beginning of the film and when we first started filming with Nicole, she said her goal in life was to spend the night with her daughter. And, you know, I, I had kids, um, I had a, I, my son's like exactly the same age as, as G. And so oh. that, that's mm -hmm. like anything with her just like really hits me. And just imagining that, like waking up with my kids is the highlight of my day every single day. And knowing that Nicole couldn't have that in her life was just really heartbreaking. But we got to see her make so much progress over this, you know, this, cool. this, this period of time that seems impossibly long when it's happening. But when you look at it as a pretty short amount of time, she made so much progress that, we got to be there on the day with her when she got to put her daughter to sleep for the first time and wake up with her the next day and take her to the park in the morning. Wow. And it's just, it, it, that to me, what was the moment where I knew that we were making a film that was going to end with hope, that was going to end with triumph, that was going to see somebody overcome something that I think at moments early on, anyone would have maybe thought was impossible. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's, you do really in this movie show hope and you show the, the tenacity of what happens to go through this. I mean, it, it's a hard road and you show the family coming together, even if it's like, oh, you're a pain in the butt kind of thing. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to watch my language here, but, but if this is something so many families are going through, the numbers are through the roof, especially after COVID um, and during COVID we're losing lives over it. Um, so it's, it's, I think you're, you're, timing of this uh, film is so important uh, for you Hallie in closing was there a moment in filming for you too that just kind of hit home of this is something positive people can move forward 
I mean, for me, I embrace the fact that every moment was important because for me, every moment was driven by, I, I hate to say it again, but this family's bravery. So mm. if nothing else, I knew that viewers were going to get a taste of how fearless this one family was to help other people. So mm -hmm. how fearless they were to say, stop judging people that are struggling. This could be your next door neighbor. Exactly. Like, this could be your cousin. Like stop. And it actually was my cousin. I had a cousin who lost um, her husband to a, an opioid overdose, oh. you know? So, and like you, Nancy, I had a family mm -hmm. member, my aunt struggled with prescribed pills and mm -hmm. you know, has since passed away. So I, you know, when, when all of a sudden this is this close to us and we all have to put away judgment so that we can talk about what's going on with our nation, what's going on with this next gen, how can we genuinely support them? I mean, suicide, people are talking about suicide um, rates being up more. People are talking about, you know, kids' mental health issues being at the forefront. So like, how can we really dig deep and just be loving to, to actually battle mm -hmm. something that feels overwhelming, but clearly has hope as, as evidenced by this family story? You know, I think our lifestyle is so fast that we tend to gloss over the important things. Like, I don't want to think about that today. I'll think about it, you know, down the road or, oh, it can't possibly be that bad. All these excuses. And, you know, because, oh, I've got to go to work. Maybe you're working two jobs. Some people are working three jobs and they still have a family to care for. And it's hard. So you take a couple of pills and it you know, and even if the doctor gave it to you, then you feel okay about it. And now you're not who you really are. It softens the edges or whatever. And then you're like, okay, I don't want to be without those pills because I can't handle what I'm having to do. Mm -hmm. So the help that needs to come seems to me has, we need a different a kind of we, we need, need a village. different kind of help. Village. We need we all need to be part of our American family. That's exactly yeah. I love the title. So everyone, our American family, I, you're so right, Nancy. I mean, it's it's mm. going back, and I think that's was the, the family nucleus, and then realizing that addiction could be a food issue, it could be Anything. alcohol, it could be marijuana, it could be opioids. Yeah, you really did that. So perfect. It could be so, television. Exactly. So everyone, <laughs> ouramericanfamilyfilm.com is the website to go. It's out September 2nd and then on video on demand on September 6th. Keep up with us at bigblendradio.com. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank Lisa. you. Thank you.